Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi guys welcome back to my channel um today what i'm gonna be doing is i literally just got out of bed i still have in my retainers um i just put on a t-shirt and i literally just took off my bonnet uh yeah my hair naturally looks like this period anyways um today I'm actually going to be showing you guys my morning routine. So basically, I just woke up out of bed. I literally had class earlier, but I never recorded it. So yeah, that's all I did for today. I didn't brush my teeth yet. I didn't eat breakfast yet, but we're going to do that together, I guess. Um, If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications and give this video a like if you liked it, I guess. So, without further ado, I am just about to go wash my face, brush my teeth, take out this darn retainer, and I guess go get something to eat. I chat too much. It is currently, uh, what time is it? 12, 17. Um, I did have class early at 8.30, and class normally ends at 11 o'clock. So, I'm doing well in bio, to be honest. I forgot to show you guys my nails. So, okay, so basically what I did, it's basically ombre. I don't know if you guys can notice it. This nail broke, and it broke hard. It was like one of the longest nails that I had. And then I noticed that it had like a chip on the edge. And like I had to cut it down because I didn't want it to like rip off my whole nail. Like I was too scared to do that. So, so without further ado, I'm going to get started with my morning routine. I'm so I'm in my bathroom and I'm just thinking, I hate waking up this early. Like normally I'd wake up at like one, two o'clock on the weekends or like in the summer or something. But I hate waking up this early. Who I my brain can't function at 8 30 in the morning. I don't know who thought of that. But who's gonna wake up at 8 30 in the morning to learn something about biology? No, not me. I don't know who you must be thinking of. It couldn't be me because there is no way I am paying attention in class at 8.30 in the morning. I'm like half asleep. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna wash my face. Ba -da -da. Wait, renegade, renegade, renegade. I do that dance like two times a day, minimum two times a day. Or I do like, uh, literally, I'm so addicted to TikTok. I'm so addicted. Who else is addicted to TikTok? I know it's not only me. I know it's not only me. Because TikTok is literally addicting for everybody at any age. End of conversation. End of conversation. Time to roll up them sleeves. Roll up. Get started. a rag dab 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 never rub never never rub gross um i do put on vaseline this tub of vaseline i also use this vitamin e ointment but my lips were breaking out the other day so i started using vaseline and they're perfect now. I don't say perfect, but they're back to normal. And if you know me well, you know I never go anywhere or I never go five minutes without putting on Vaseline. And do you notice that Vaseline or some type of lip balm is the first thing I put on? 
And my lips were like moisturized when I first started the video. <laughs> called betha methasone it's basically for eczema i am only supposed to apply it at nighttime but i apply it also in the daytime because i guess i don't know it, it helps my skin i also use these brush my eyebrows they promote growth you, you wouldn't think so but they do promote growth promote growth I heard it on TikTok, like I'm learning everything from TikTok. You can shake your eyebrows any single way. I'm just rubbing them any single way. And then brush my eyelashes. I have two different ones because I don't want to like mix them up. And then one of my eyebrow hair gets into my eyes or stuff like that. I, I, I just don't want to have that. And I have a whole set of these I bought it at the dollar store. No biggie. I bought it for like three bucks. So, oh my God, for a second I thought I had a test tomorrow. Mm -mm, crazy. A test that I did not know about. Yeah, I did not know about it. Anyways, I guess that's it for my face routine. This is the cream that I normally use at night to get rid of the scars. It's called Taro Clean whatever this is. It actually works pretty well, and I also have a tactile pump, and that works also. Um, I use a Q-tip, clean my earring, my earring. I've had, like, my first and second hole for a while, but I just got this. I didn't just get it. I got it, like, when? In August? That was a while ago. And... I still clean it two times a day up to this day. I don't, I, I'm too scared to get a keloid or get an infection. Make sure I clean my ears. I should clean the rest of my earrings, like the rest of my piercings, like these two. But I don't know. I just, I clean them once in a while. Cleaning your piercings, like your new piercings every day is very important. Because next thing you know, you wake up and you get a keloid. I saw this video once on TikTok and this girl, she got an industrial piercing. So like one here and one here. And I had thought about that, that piercing before, but I just never thought about the risks, the risks of it. And when I saw that piercing, the girl's ear were, the girl's ear was like huge. Around the piercing, it was huge throw down in the garbage probably fell on the floor but it meant to go in the garbage we gonna put on some deodorant this is basically an outside shirt i guess because i did not wake up in this shirt this makes me way too hot i'm basically just gonna go downstairs and eat my breakfast like what am i getting ready for no one Please, if someone knows a way to get rid of acne scars, please help me because I am struggling. I have this big one in my... F <sighs> I forgot to oil my scalp. Castor oil and coconut oil. A mixture of them both works really well. Having your braids and bra having your hair in braids like this is makes it so much easier to oil your scalp. Honestly, like all I gotta do is just do this, rub it like that, boom, and then maybe tie it up later on. Look, guys, my hair's growing. It looks very short right now, but. It actually is growing. <sighs> looking cute, not so bad. We're not looking so rusty, you know? Because most days I wake up, I be looking like a frog. 
and that is not nice no way oh not nice i'm gonna start making some iced coffee period i have these decaf k-pods i think is that what they're called decaf tim hortons k-pods and i guess basically just put them in here push it down and then it just brews the coffee you put some water inside this right here and it brews the coffee so honestly recently i have just been obsessed with making coffee i'm not gonna lie to you i've been obsessed with making coffee i'm gonna go get a cup is that enough that should be okay that should be okay i'm gonna put the cup here it comes on hot so i basically have a different container for it and it just makes it it presses down to brew it and then boom we're good it's gonna start brewing the decaf coffee i use this french vanilla coffee creamer the the k-pod that i use is just regular dark toast dark roast coffee k-pods but um i use this french vanilla coffee creamer it tastes really good and it adds some like nice nice taste to the coffee you know if you don't like your coffee too strong what's your favorite type of coffee and how do you actually make your coffee if you do like coffee the decaf actually smells so much better than the, the caffeine coffee while I wait for this to brew, I'm just gonna show you guys my nice cup that I bought from the dollar store. Look at how cute this thing is. It's like a summer, a summer drink. And I bought these metal straws separately so that I can just use them. You gotta save the earth. See, it's done. I use two different cups because one, this can't take hot water. So I collect the hot coffee in here and then I put a few ice cubes in here and then I throw it back in here and add more ice cubes and add the French vanilla creamer and then that will be it to be honest. But first let me clean this out. Container needs to refill. We are gonna add some French vanilla to this bad boy. I like the way how it just turns a different color. And I have a lot. Look how cool this looks. I use a lot of French vanilla because the coffee is way too strong for me. That's good. Wow. Okay, now for my breakfast, I'm actually going to have smoked meat and what is this? Rye bread. But have you if you guys have been to Montreal, they're basically famous for smoked meat sandwiches. It tastes really good. And basically what what they put in it is just mustard and the meat and sometimes if you like it. Like you can choose whatever you want in the sandwich, but most people just do it with the pickles and the mustard. I don't think I want to warm up the bread. I didn't warm it up. Okay, so we just warm up the, the meat. Sometimes you can have it cold, to be honest. This tastes good. I normally just warm this up for like, what, 15 seconds? Okay, 
Okay, so basically, this is like what the smoked meat looks like. And then I just add a little bit, well not a little bit, I add an okay amount of mustard and spread it on the bread that doesn't have the meat on it. And then put the sandwich together. And that, my love, is the Montreal smoked meat sandwich. Just like that, period. And that's my breakfast with my iced coffee. Yay. I'm like obsessed with iced coffee recently. Obsessed. just finished my breakfast and I just sipped out the last little bit of my iced coffee I love chewing on the ice that's why I brought it upstairs um thank you guys so much for watching thank you for watching to the end and if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up comment down below that you watched it to the end and other stuff you want to comment down so we can communicate be best friends yes I hope you guys really like this video and I'll be back with more.